Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I am having some technical issues and things are really um, stupid at the moment. So I've recorded this video already and it was long and I made good progress and but my recording software kind of messed up the audio track so I had to retalk everything so I played back this video and talked over it and again I had the same I mean I had, didn't have the issue but I forgot that the recording was playing back and um, so I had that same noise in my second video so this time I'm not going to play it anymore I'm just going to summarize it so our problem that we have here is no, not here we ha still have our limbs detached to the actual mesh uh, so, well, I can't find the right spot right now, but you can actually move these limbs away. And what we need to do is to find a way to attach them. Um, so, it's similar to this kind of math here, where you have to get the number below the line uh, the same, so that you can add them together. So, it's pretty similar with, you know, the, the, the limbs and everything. So, what I'm doing is I'm making copies of the objects and moving them to a separate layer to isolate them and work on them properly and you see here I'm now working on just this one part and what I have to do is find a way to get the poly count to the same so that I can uh, join them together so I remember the arm here had 48 um, vertices this one here had what was it 8 I think now you have to find a way to make the slower arm also 48 so that you can connect them. By the way, something I didn't mention, um, I based everything on the body part because it's the most detailed one and I really don't want to lose the details. So what I did was I made a copy of the body, moved it to the second layer and applied the multi res modifier. Uh, that way we had lots of detail. So um, to get the number right here, what I did was I tried to use subdivision surface, but um, if you set the level to one, you get instead of eight, uh, double the amount so it's 16 uh, but then go to level 2 it's not 16 it's 32 and then it's 64 so we're totally missing the number that we are aiming for um, which is 48 so instead what I had to do was I went into edit mode and I used here on the side you can see subdivide so I press subdivide in, uh, from the splash menu that they can open with we uh, sorry W and then I set the cuts to 5, I think it was, and that's important, set the smoothness to 1. By setting the smoothness to 1, you get the subdivision with a smooth look. And then we pretty much had it done, so I could delete the subdivision surface modifier, join the two objects, and continue work. Now, one problem that we had still was that the main body was... Uh, not an, a mirrored object and not even symmetrical anymore so I had to select the um, you know this edge in the middle and press ctrl E and select the loop inner region that's the feature what you have to look for then you get, uh, end up with just one half of it um, what you do next is make sure that this um, middle edge is really straight so I scaled it along x by 0 to make it flat then I mirrored it and made sure that, you know, everything works well. Afterwards, I jo uh, joined the two objects with Control J, and um, then I used the bridge edges feature, that, which you can search for by pressing spacebar in the 3D view. Uh, you just type in bridge and you will find the feature, and then you get a bridge, and what you have to do then is um, just smooth things. So use vortex smooth or something um, it will it will get it you will get it right somehow uh, then for the legs it was a bit more difficult we had I think what was it again let's see if I can find the spot in the video All right there was it um, eight vertices around here and I think it was um, 40 for the body part so the only way to do it was um, you know having four subdivisions for each face and we can do that with the sub surface modifier again so what I had to do was similar to the arm I used subdivide and 
you know, uh, we in the end we ended up with some issues. Everything was smooth and good. Just on the knee we had some issues. Uh, and I used all the topology to add even more detail in here, so I sculpted it um, after you know subdividing it by five or so. Um, so this is what I ended up with a really high topology, uh, high high poly structure that was fixed with sculpting, and it had the right amount of polygons and vertices to fit. So I'm using proportion editing to you know line those up. And then again the bridge tool but you see we have some trouble really uh, getting rid of the seam so in a combination of uh, the smooth brush in sculpting mode and vertex smooth and such um, you know did the job and in the end we had a good seam for the feed it was pretty easy we just had to use subdivide modifier times two to reach the, the right number so i just applied the modifier and connected it took just a just a minute or so. For the hand it was a bit more difficult, we didn't really have any number that would fit, so we had to come up with a place, so let me quickly tell you the numbers, so this here is still 48 and this one is 10 and this is kind of a number that you can work with well, so what I did was I said I would somewhere here add two more loops, um, or two more vertices actually, and connect them and then subdivide everything by 2 because you know 12 times 2 is 24 and 24 times 2 is 48 so that's exactly what we're looking for so I I let me find that one spot where I added I, I used the knife tool and added here um, like this thing where the where you have the bone sticking out of your hand um, so I'm using basically that uh, to add more detail. Then I'm using again the bridge tool and I'm sculpting in again some details here because why not do add some details if we have the chance. And that's all we did in this video. I attempted to do the head but it's, it uh, turned out that it was a bit more difficult. But the good uh, side to this is that you're going to get to see it in the next part and after all you, you will have at least one video to learn some about it. Hope um, even though this video was really um, not a good tutorial, it's probably not easy to learn from it, but still that was the only way I really found without having to redo it, which I didn't want to do because I managed to, you know, fix these areas pretty well and it would be a shame if I had to, you know, change it. Um, so, I hope you are still fine with that and you can follow along. Have a good day and I hope to see you in my next video.